Mm. Okay, y'all, good morning, good morning. Uh, it is, what is today? Today's Wednesday morning, man. So uh, we are really uh, overachieving uh, this week. We have really done, uh, let me get things situated. Yeah, we've done a lot of work in the last couple of days. I mean, we're really, uh, I mean, we're on, we're on pace uh, to get a lot done you know more so done than what well than what I've ever done before in the whole time I've been in business as far as uh, you know efficiency because Zach is uh, Zach's really coming around to uh, understanding everything uh, you know and it's been a long process for him but he's done really good I mean really really good uh, I think he's finally has turned the corner on realizing that as a man and as a grown-up you have to work and then if you're going to do that then you want it to be all you can be right and i think zach has really turned a corner man i'm proud of zach uh for real having francisco out here uh has really uh enabled me not to have to focus on zach all the time and not to have to depend on him solely and that's a lot of pressure off of him and that's you know i mean it's it is it's 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 pressure out here you know during the season uh but we're doing an exorbitant amount of work we're we're we're, we're clawing and scratching at the schedule uh hardcore and uh and the weather's been friendly too you know all these factors you know make it where you are really you know being all you can be and i tell you um We've done, again, you know, we have done about three and a half days of work in two days, and not even two long days. Tell you what, if I can, if we can stay at this pace, I'll be able to take on more customers uh, and be and be perfectly fine. With, uh, I was talking to uh, one of the guys, one of the subscribers, you know, yesterday when he came and picked up the mulching kit, and he was saying that some of the local landscapers, you know, lawn care guys, they, they went out of business, you know, simply because of labor. And uh, that's, I mean, so I know when I had Bo out here and, and uh, you know, some other guys out here, a lot of the guys would come into comments and say, you ain't treating them right. You ain't, they, they don't want to work for you. You're an asshole, blah, 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 blah. There's been landscape companies that went out of business behind that because they grew the business in a time when labor was okay, you know, we were able to get labor. And then when COVID hit, it changed the way a lot of people do business, a lot of people, and it ran people out of business. It created some more businesses too, you know, but it ran a lot of people out of business, especially in this game. See, it didn't run me out of business because I wasn't too big to where I had, where I depended and uh, my finances were dependent and the business was dependent on labor solely. I've always kept the business at uh, running kind of skinny, if, if that makes any sense. And when I say skinny, I mean with, with my overhead being very minimal based on uh, the money that we can have the potential to make. And uh, that's, you know, doing right with your money when you're making good money is a mandatory must, man. You know, I mean, I didn't have to you know, pay off the Skag, and I didn't have to pay off the Bobcat. I didn't have to, you know, you know, I didn't have to pay cash for a Bobcat when I bought mine. You know, I didn't have to spend, you know, the 8,400 on this X mower uh, last week. I could have just let that money sit in the bank. And then what? What's that money gonna do for me in the bank? It ain't doing nothing for me in the bank. Meanwhile, I'm out here freaking struggling to uh, you know, with equipment and all. So, 
And that's what I mean by a skinny business. Uh, I make money and then I spend money on things that make me more money. That's what I do. Uh, or if I don't spend it on things that make me more money, I spend it on things that have the potential to make me more money. Now, if I'd have had to go out and buy a brand new lawnmower, I would not have wanted, I would not have, I know for a fact, I would not have spent, you know, the 15,000 give or take for a brand new lawnmower. I wouldn't have done that. Not pay cash. Is it a calculated gamble buying a, a used lawnmower? Well, certainly, sure it is. It, it's a calculated gamble. Uh, but what kind of gamble is it for me to buy a, another X Martin Laser Z X series? It's the only mowers I've ever owned. You know, it's the mowers that started everything. It's the mowers I know everything about. Now, why in the world would I go out and buy a Wright or uh, another Skag uh, or uh, anything like that? Why would I go out and do that when I can go buy an Exmark Laser Z X Series and I know all about it. I have all the uh, the blades for the 16 inch mower, same blades, the same tires, the same everything. Every mower that I got, all three of the big mowers, well, all three of the, the, the Exmark mowers that I got, big ones, are all identical, exact same thing. They got different engines on them, but that's the only thing that's different. And then I got the Skag. But if I was running a business sloppy and having to depend on a lot of labor, taking on a bunch of work and depending on labor, and then something happens where the labor, for whatever reason, can't come to work, one or two of them quit or, or whatever, uh, it, it would be, it would, it, you know, it, it can bankrupt you. And that's what happened to a local company here. Uh, it ran them all the way out of business and they had uh bobcats skid steers and everything man they did they were pretty that they, they i don't want to say they were huge and i don't know how many employees they had but they were a lot bigger than me and i'm not big i just got two trucks man and it's a skinny outfit you know but our numbers are great man our numbers are great and if we can continue at this pace i'll give everybody more money as long as everybody keep coming to work and everybody can do like they uh, like we need to do and nothing major catastrophe happens then i'll break bread you know there's a few little humps that we got to get over you know uh to get into the into the uh, mowing season season one of those humps is a sod job uh about four or five pallets not a big deal uh you know we got to do that job. We got to do, uh, there's another job too, a uh, mulching job, about 12 yards of mulch, 12 scoops of mulch. Uh, what else? Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to have to continue this in a minute, y'all. Francisco just pulled up. It's fixing to rain. And, uh, we gonna get up out of here this morning. We ain't we ain't booze. We ain't boo 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 shitting. All right, y'all. Peace out. All right, y'all. So y'all see this tall stuff? This stuff's real tall, man. Look how tall it is. So I'm gonna set you guys up, and we're gonna test this 25 horsepower out. I've cut all this with it, and it cuts pretty good. Now, this is a weird kind of grass, and some of you guys that know more about grass than me, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's it's gonna leave it. You, you, you got to double cut it pretty much. Uh, I don't care what mower you got. You pretty much got to double cut it uh, because of the way. So, but I just want to show y'all, and we'll see how good the mower does. I'm gonna set you guys up. I got the tripod. I'm gonna set you guys up where y'all can see me cut this L right here. And uh, and of course, I don't cut it this way, blowing the grass that way. I blow it. I always blow it out that way. So I usually make a line, and then I go down up high and then i come down and around like that so i'm gonna set you guys up somewhere and uh yeah it's gonna be on real time too so
okay y'all so we uh we're about three quarters of done with the hoa uh, having three people out here is, is, is it's going to make it a lot faster so and it's 12 o'clock uh yeah i mean the, the next time we do it i'm gonna have to show francisco everything uh one thing about the new mower it's throwing a lot of dust out from in front of the deck i think i'm bent the uh, one of the blades uh you know that's the kind of shit we cut man i mean i don't know uh okay y'all that's a wrap man we had a good day we got everything done I'm gonna take this mower off though and, and, and put it in, put it in the shop here and, and see what the hell's going on, man. Because that thing is so throwing dust. I guarantee it's got a bent blade. Any little variance in the way the mower's built in the blades and the tip speed and, and all that there, if, if, if a blade is bent or a baffle's got a hole in it or anything that's uh, different, it can make a big difference on the actual, um, well, it can make a big difference on the actual the cut, of course, but also the disbursement of the grass and the velocity, wind going, you know, to kick it to the curb. You wanna always be kicking that grass that way, man. So, uh, we did good though we really did that's why i'm paying the guys the same we work dude y'all we didn't work we didn't even work four hours before the rain came but everybody got the money i promised them based on the work not based on how long we were working we needed to get done i mean we did pretty good today uh five six seven Two, yeah, 220 plus 500, that's 720. 720 plus another 100 for the, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, boy, I got, I got shit all over me, man. It, it, it's terrible. So... But before I even go in the house, I'm finna get this straight right here on this mower. I'm gonna figure out what the hell's going on with it. Uh. All right, let's see what it is, y'all. Let's see what, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, it's a bent blade. That right there is doing it. And look, that blade's bent, twisted, or something, everything. So that's the problem right there. Thank God. So we're gonna put this new blade on. These blades are new. I mean, I put these blades on just the other day. So, well, yesterday I hit something. Uh, I hit a uh, a property stake, and I didn't really notice it. But yeah, yeah. Until today. few times that it rains and we actually got done right as it was raining usually it's you know a catastrophe but if we had went down to Fayetteville to do those four we would not have been able to finish and that would have really hurt us you know so by me moving you know you know everything from it was on today's schedule to tomorrow and then moving tomorrow to today it kept us around the house so if it did rain we can just go home and it's not going to cost me a lot the further away you go uh well the, if it's raining you don't want to go far away if you if you're in control of that and i am in control of that pretty much further away you go you get caught up in some rain and you can't finish then you got to spend the time it takes to go back there and if you're you know a 35 minute ride one way you yeah now I mean, you might as well go on and chalk that day up a half a day up yeah it, it can get really ugly sometimes you know it ain't really about making the most money it's about not having to it's more about not having to spend 
extra time, energy, and effort, which means money, to go back and do something that uh, if you had just planned a little bit better, you could have not had to go back. You could have just waited until a better day. I live by the weather, y'all. I don't know. I don't know how other landscape guys do it. I live by the weather. The weather. I look at the weather every single day, multiple times a day. When I sit down on Sunday and I'm planning the week, I'm looking at the weather. Now I know the weather ain't always right. The weatherman ain't always right, but you know, it's all right. Time. But yeah, we had a good day, man. And and you know. Like I said, you know, uh, everybody made the same money they would have made if we'd have worked another hour and a half. We'd have worked till 2.30. You know, right now, it's uh, 10 minutes to 2, but we've been done since 1 o'clock. So, you gotta do that if you're paying for, for performance. You gotta go on and pay uh, because they're, gonna, they're probably gonna be a day uh, where you're gonna have to work later or whatever. And the pay's the same. So you got that to go with the bad, you know. But y'all saw, y'all see how this damn 25 horsepower is rolling, man. I mean, it cut that thick, tall stuff like it wasn't nothing, man. Y'all see how it's cutting? It's having a hard time throwing the grass, but any mower would. It's just, you know, any mower would have a hard time throwing that grass. And I don't know what kind of grass this is. But it's some kind of crazy, I don't know, it doesn't want to cut. I know that. It takes a minute for my body to get back in, in the routine of I've never had nobody like Francisco out here. Never. Never. <coughs> I know I told him about just how he works. He works good, don't get me wrong. But I've never had anybody that I can count on that I know for sure, without a doubt, coming to work tomorrow. You could build a business on, on, on it, you know. It's Sammy time. Win. Peace out.